This morning, two Americans are among the latest victims of the fighting between Israeli and Palestinian forces. In Gaza City this morning, Israeli forces hit more targets. Heavy fighting since the Israeli offensive began now puts the Palestinian death toll above 500. Barry Peterson is in Gaza City where tens of thousands are out of their homes and hospitals are overwhelmed. Barry, good morning. The Israeli offensive shows no sign of letting up. There's shelling still going on right now. And the Palestinians are answering with rockets fired into Israel. Here in Gaza, one neighborhood in particular has been targeted. With concentrated fire, the Israelis pounded the eastern neighborhood of Sujaya. <laughs> There were brief humanitarian ceasefires when the extent of the devastation and the death were clear. Somehow, some survived, rushed to the city's main hospital. The ceasefire lasted long enough to get some of the wounded out, and then it was broken. Nobody knows how many wounded are still trapped. Doctors were determined to save as many as they could, but they were overwhelmed. OR is not enough. OR operation theaters, I mean. It is not enough even for the patients. We have been operating on the corridors, actually. Sometimes it was not enough. This father faced the sad reality that his daughter was gone. And in the hospital's morgue, the same scene over and over. The identification of a loved one, and then the grief. But even in this hell, there were miracles. Out of this rubble, amazingly, a survivor. Seven-year-old Bisan Dahir, cared for by Dr. Alam Nayef. She has some contusions all around her body, and that's it. And she, she will recover fastly, we hope. There's another crisis developing. Gaza depends on Israel for its food supplies. Now that's cut off. Wheat for bread, about three days left. Chickens, hard to find. And the basics, cooking oil and rice, all but gone.